Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Casper, the boy definer, and today I want to do a esoteric book haul. Um, I don't know if you guys know, I have wide ranging practice. I do many different things. So even though my channel is primarily a tarot channel where I talk about tarot decks and how I work with them, I also am very much a practitioner of magic. Whether you want to call me a witch, a magician, I know that my primary audience don't really care about this, but I bought too many books this month, so I wanted to talk about it. The downside of having a depth here for tarot decks meant that I had money to buy other things. So, you know, I don't know, I really wanted to, to try a low spend here, but it just always so happens that there's many things I want, whether they're tarot decks or esoteric books. So I have such a big influx of books here on my table right now, and Honestly, it's tough getting through them. The last time I did an esoteric book haul, I have not finished those books yet, so my book of shame just keeps piling up and I keep getting ebooks, so I read them on the go. I don't read these books on the go, I, I want to sit down and read them properly, and that's why it's taking me so much time. Let's just go in order of the, the, the books that I got. And I don't know if I've shown you this before, I can't really remember, but this is the Tibetan Book of the Dead. I really like this cover so much. I love the, the foil here. I just really can't wait to get into it. It's a really hefty book. I really, I don't know what this is called, you know. I don't know when, when books don't have that kind of smooth edge. I really like this feeling of this book. And flipping through it, it does feel okay. It doesn't feel too intimidating except for the beginning. And when I started reading the beginning, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be tough. I don't really get what they're saying. But when I look at through the contents, they, it seems pretty accessible. So I don't know, I don't know what's blocking me here. It's a beautiful book. I really enjoy this. I bought this from a Singapore retailer, so... The next two books that I wanted to talk about, it's about contacting your holy guardian angel. If you guys know, I already, I really do want to work with the, my holy guardian angel. Uh, the Spirit Keeper's Tarot is supposed to help me with that if I go through the exercises. I have not finished the exercises, of course, um, because that's me, <laughs> that's who I am. I also got this book called The Holy Guardian Angel, and it was recommended by Foolish Fish. Uh, the next book I got right now, for during this book haul, is called The Holy Daemon. I actually read this on ebook version and I enjoyed it but because it was on ebook I couldn't really take notes plus it was a bit uncomfortable reading this so I bought the uh, paperback edition. It's clearly not, <laughs> the spine is not correct, I have not opened this book at all but I really like um, the borders here so I can really make notes. It is quite expensive because it's from Scarlet Imprint which is, you know, all esoteric books are kind of expensive compared to normal books because they don't really have much of a audience. So I do recommend you guys pick this one up. I did enjoy this book before and I hope I enjoy it in its physical form even more. I don't know if you want you guys want a quick overview of this book. But um, he goes through the history of the Holy Guardian Angel. He talks about how he communicated with his own Holy Guardian Angel. And he talks about certain practices that you can do to connect with your Holy Guardian Angel or your Holy Daemon. That's what, he, what, that's what he calls it. But I remember the practice part not being easy. Like you have to have a mer marker or something. And you have to eat raw eggs in, out in nature. And there's no nature in Singapore. So I don't know. The other book I got is the limited edition hardcover of the Black Abbott and White Magic. I really like this cover. I couldn't I couldn't help it. I decided to just get this one. It's it's a beautiful book. It is a beautiful book. Um inside is beautiful. I have not read this at all, but I'm excited. I'm excited to read this. Of course I've seen a version of this on Foolish Fish's um channel. And yeah, I just can't wait to read it. I'm just so slow and behind. Uh when it came I, I bought ordered from Miskatonic Books. I got a little bit of a chip here, but I don't think that it's because of them. I, I do have a mail forwarder from the US also, so it could be them. It's just a small blend, blemish, but I really like this book. I like the size, I like holding it like this. The the leather cover makes it feel so luxurious, and it, is, it was really expensive, guys. So this was a splurge for me. Uh, I This is one of the only books that I probably would have annotated in. I enjoy annotating my books, so maybe not for this one. The next book I pre-ordered for the longest time, and I waited so long for it because there was some Amazon thing and then my mail forward also took a long time to get it and I'm reading it right now, it's called Weaving Fate. This is like a semi-sequel to the Six Ways book that uh, Aidan Walker already uh, wrote a long time ago and I really enjoyed. If you guys want to know more about the Six Ways book, let me know. I am happy to do a quick walkthrough, a quick talk about every single practice in the book, its contents, just a quick summary and review. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Comment down below. And if you enjoy this little book haul, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out. It lets me know that even though these videos are not well received, they don't have huge watch time or views, there are people who are still enjoying it and therefore it will still encourage me to do videos like this. Okay? For Weaving Fate, he talks more about the principles of 
magic, his his principles of magic. Of course, that there are some grounding, there are some citing citations and things like that, which is great because, I mean, I, I trust the guy. I trust the guy. He 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 seems really down to earth and really great. Um, I I I'm on his Facebook group. I really enjoy how he talks. I like his pop some of his podcast interviews. So apart from just the principles, he actually goes into specific specific very very specific practices. Um, three of them: the black book, uh, the fever stone, I think. And the last one is the corridor. He goes into deep into these three practices, and I do hope it's something I can do. Um, I'm, I've read, I have already been reading it. Um, I don't know if you guys, any of you, live in an urban environment, but let me know if you guys have a solution to this because I don't know where to get cross road dirt in Singapore. Everything is a road, I, unless I go hiking, which is in Singapore, is not really a thing. Maybe I can go to Sungai Bolo or something and just grab dirt from the ground. I, I don't know. It's just not convenient. Plus, the dirt in Singapore is always kind of wet. I don't know. Is it wet in other countries? Because Singapore is more swampy. If we go to the wilderness, it's, it's more of a swampy kind of land. Uh, let me know how, how about you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any good resources on how to get uh, cross road dirt. It is a thing people use a lot for uh, road opener spells, which I have not really done much for myself, just maybe once or twice. I don't know if it really works. Again, I don't know if a lot of my magic works, so I need to have more faith, I need to practice more. Um, I've been doing a lot of Gallery of Magic stuff, but that's not in this video because I got those books a long time ago and I'm finally practicing them. Okay, the next book I got is this one, and I don't know how practice... After I bought this book, I read bad things about this book because I don't think it's that practicable. Uh, and I like to practice my magic, but this is Buddhist magic. I, I, I like Buddhism. I, I resonate with Buddhism a lot. I used to be very heavily Buddhist and I pray a lot to Kwan Im Pusa, um, Namo Kwan Sim Pusa. I also pray to uh, the Green Tara, which is also why I got the Tibetan Book of the Dead because I think it could help me understand the Tibetan Buddhism more because th my Buddhism is not really Tibetan, it's more the, the normal, normal one. And I also am familiar with Amitwofo and the Pure Land uh, Buddhism. So I don't know where this Buddhism comes from. I don't know what the specificity, I don't know what the specificities of this is. But when I'm looking at what he has written before, he wrote a lot about Tibetan Buddhism. So I thought it could help me understand that better. At the same time, I'm just a bit disappointed if he, you know, downplays it or he doesn't really explain specifically um, step by step stuff. And I don't see any step by step just running through this. Uh, still. I hope this would give me some kind of value. Maybe I can work with some of the principles here into my own practice. I don't know. The last book uh, that I wanted to talk about today is the uh, Damon Echols Angels and Art Angels book, I, A Magician's Guide. I actually enjoyed... I, I read his Chaos Magic book. I didn't enjoy that one too much for some reason. I don't feel like it was very practicable for some reason. I, I don't know why. Don't ask me. It's just based on my impression. I don't have any real reasons for that. Then I read his High Magic book and I really appreciated that because I have Israel Rigardi's uh, e-books about how to do the middle pillar, how to do a Kabbalistic cross. I feel like he brings it so much better across. He does it much clearer. He has a clearer voice. He is more simple. He doesn't go too deep into all the um, principles in a way. He, he covers the principles apart from the instructions where I feel like Israel Rigardi just, just talks about stuff. It could just also because he is... He, th these books come out in the modern times where we are more we are spoiled for information. It's easy for us to just get it quick and easy. Because I enjoyed his High Magic book, I decided to get the hard copy of this one and I really hope to enjoy this one uh, sooner or later. I'm not a fan of um, some of the font choices, like this font, um, but I am excited to read this book. I've heard good things about this book from uh, Foolish Fish again. He is my go-to resource for uh, esoteric stuff, es esoteric books, but I do hope to also grow myself into some sort of resource as I read and learn more. He's definitely much more advanced than me. Maybe I can talk about things from a beginner's perspective compared to an expert that reads books like in a, in a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that sort of person. I take a long time to absorb. I take a long time to sit down and, and read. And because also, to share a secret, I'm crazy into this new game called Genshin Impact. So let me know if you're playing that game because it's crazy. Um, okay, that's it for my book haul. I just wanted to reiterate the books that I got. I got the Tibetan Book of the Dead. Uh, this one is by Penguin Classics. Um, I also got the Black, uh, Black Abbot White Magic and the Holy Demon together from Miskatonic Books. I got Weaving Fate from Amazon, Buddhist Magic from Amazon, and also this book Angels and Archangels by Demon Echoes on Amazon. So 
Um, if you want, if you guys want to check out any of these books, I have put links below to Amazon. It's an affiliate link, so I get a bit of money whenever you click on it and buy something. So that will help me out a lot. And of course, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking to the end. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and you take care. Bye.